I'm scared. I need to take that away. <laughs> it does. It's it so tastes like someone just sprayed a banana boat <laughs> spray in my mouth. I have to give a huge shout out to our production team. <laughs> the secret is now out, y'all. And that's crazy. You were doing the nasty, nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, y'all. I am so nervous. We are on our way to our very first baby appointment. I can't believe I'm saying that. We haven't actually said the words yet. Like, we're pregnant. Ugh, it sounds so weird. Like, what the heck? Oh my God. We're seven and a half weeks today. So it's still like early on, but girl, we need to catch up on like this whole thing. Cause I have been down bad, like, this is what I was most scared of, was the nausea, na nausea, nausea. I was trying to say like nauseous and nausea at the same time. And I've been like ugh, struggling to get through it, like honestly. But I'm so excited. I'm really anxious, but I'm super, super excited. I couldn't even sleep today because I was just like, Holy shit, today is the day. What if we get in there and we find out we're having twins? What would you do? Be excited, because that's what we've wanted. Yeah, but you wouldn't pass out. <laughs> no. So, fun fact. We both have sets of twins in both sides of our families. And recently, two people told us that we're going to have twins. Not even knowing that we're actually pregnant. So... We're like, what is going on? And we have no idea what to expect. But we're about to find out in a little bit. And hopefully Eldon can sneak some footage. Because I always see that like you're not allowed to film in doctors' offices and stuff. So mm, you're going to have to sneak it. I'll try. Like when she's facing me, just like put your camera up, film a little bit, and then put it down. <laughs> I need to have some saltine crackers real quick because, girl, I'd be feeling sick. But we just got here, so hopefully this doctor's nice. I'm praying she's nice. They need a urine sample, and I literally just peed like five minutes ago. So I'm chugging my luck. Drink up. I'm scared. I'm going to stick that. Chug, 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 chug. It's not gonna come down that fast. I'm full. All right, peace. you're measuring there you um. <laughs> hello we just went to a little tea, tea thing, thing. <laughs> a tea thing and got some boba what did you get again i forget it oat cream milk tea i got um a green tea coconut cream green tea which is something I've never got before, but it sounds bussin'. I got 50% less sweet, y'all are right in now. Sometimes though, they still make it too sweet even though you say 50% less. Huh. Mm. Their bubble's good. Definitely too sweet still. This is probably like, in my taste buds, like 10% less sweet. Really? Mm-hmm. Maybe you gotta tell them like 25. I know, next time. Some places I feel do a good job with like gauging the sweetness. Like if you say 50% less sweet, it's like... 50% less sweet. Yeah. <laughs> what if, what if um, like 
It is true, and they're 100% and it's just super sweet. Dude, I don't even want to know what that tastes like. Like if it's double the sugar. I can't do it. My taste buds just don't like really sweet stuff. But the flavor is really good. I love the coconut with um, the green tea. Mm. Oh, wait, you can't try this, huh? Or can you? Mm. Oh, yeah, it's coconut cream. <clears throat> oh, no, there's like a, there's a weird aftertaste to it. I can't figure it out, but it's like not... It's a coconut. It tastes like sunscreen. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> it does. It's it so tastes like someone just sprayed a banana boat <laughs> spray in my mouth. I am obsessed with coconut. I always have my whole life. Especially because my dad loves it. So he kind of like passed it down to me, I guess. And so every single time I try to get Elden to eat something coconut flavored, he won't. And he's like, it tastes like sunscreen. Which, it just reminds me all the time. Yeah, I get it. Because like... The banana boat one does smell like tropical, like coconut vibes, but I love that smell. I'm obsessed with the smell, but some, I don't know, for some reason it doesn't, like usually you would think like I would be affected. Yeah, yeah. Like affected like the way you are, but for some reason it doesn't. Cause like, yeah, I typically don't like eating fragrant smells, <laughs> but every time he says that, it just, I try it's to so like funny. It, but I just can't. Yeah, because I don't correlate that with this, but there's some weird, like, some strange aftertaste. I can't put my finger down on it. You want to try mine? Mm-hmm. When you get these little flakes, they're so good. What are those? Like toffee? Mm, I don't know. Mmm. That's cereal. Oh, it tastes like... Yeah. Like Frosted Flakes. Yeah, but look how thin they are. That's not mm -hmm. cereal. It's something else. It tastes like it, though. Mm -hmm. They're super, like, airy and crispy. Mm -hmm. Well, there's really no way that you guys can tell that we are now <laughs> literally currently up to date. Like, we're filming this video, and it's going to go live in the next day or so. But I can't even tell you guys, like, how much I couldn't film during the time of all of our first appointments and I wanted to actually update you guys after that first appointment which was the last clip that you guys saw but I was so sick I was also going through a really hard time you guys know that and it's hard to tell on camera actually watching back the footage I really tried my best to be super positive through that experience because obviously it is a very exciting positive experience but behind the scenes I was going through it mm -hmm. i was super sick i was really sad super depressed um so even just getting those couple minutes took a lot out of me to really like uh put my best out there i guess you can say but i didn't get a chance to update you guys like anything after that so that literally was the appointment from hell Okay, not from hell, that's dramatic. But it was truly one of the worst doctor's appointments I've ever had. And obviously, you know, after finding out we were pregnant, we both were doing so much research. I was watching so many YouTube videos from new mommies and um, experienced mommies about their, you know, whole journey. And especially when it came to first appointment, because that was something I was waiting for. Because I think it was like two to three weeks after we found out so obviously during that time all you have is a positive pregnancy test so it's like am I really am I not and for me the confirmation is like going to that first appointment and finding out that it's real um so during that time I did a lot of research online and everyone that I watched said that the first appointment is usually the longest because they get all the information from the father's side, the mother's side with like health issues, um, the history of the health of your family. Any concerns. And any anything. concerns, like literally anything. And that's where you're going to ask all your questions, especially as a first time mom and dad. And we didn't get any of that. <laughs> Like they said, expect to be around an hour for the first appointment. And I know it's different with every doctor, obviously, but that was just kind of what I expected. At least 40 minutes, like at least, because I know you have to do like the urine test and everything. But we get there and first of all, everybody in that office like 
no one wanted to be there. No one wanted to be there. No one wanted to do their job. And I get it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's not like every day <laughs> you wake up, you're like, yeah, I love my job. But at the same time, like, dude, everyone was treating us like we were their problem. And Eldon and I are always so nice. We always treat people with kindness. And it's like, no matter what we're going through, we're always like kind. So that was the first energy that we got as soon as we walked in. I feel like they should also know that if it is your first appointment, mm -hmm. which you stated that they should have like a certain protocol mm -hmm. on being like super excited, super open and like welcoming, especially to like the first time like showing up there and be like like open arms yeah. basically i mean it should be for every mom because mm -hmm. also you don't even know what they had to go through to get to that moment mm -hmm. and obviously like everybody has their different um journeys journeys quick touch up break <laughs> and so regardless though i just feel like you should always treat people with kindness and open arms and stuff. But it's just crazy to me that, like, we didn't even get a congratulations from the doctor. Like, I don't know. Am I expecting too much? I don't know. I just feel like because... I don't think so because I feel like <laughs> at the next appointment you went to, exp oh, expectations were met. Not only met. Or exceeded. But exceeded. And we'll get to that point. But... Like, even me as a makeup artist, when I was doing people's makeup, if I found out something big was going on in their life, you know, I would congratulate them. I'm not even a doctor. Or, like, I would be happy for them. Or, like, just kind of, you know, just mm -hmm. interact with them and be cool. Or if something hard went in their life, you know, I sympathize with them. So, I don't know. I guess it just comes down to, like, character. But it was everybody in the office. Like, they all felt so mad <laughs> so anyway we do that do the thing she was literally in and out for like 10 minutes like barely asked the bare minimum asked probably my weight uh is this your first baby like blah 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 whatever she confirmed it she did the ultrasound which you guys saw we saw the little flicker it was just a tiny little like blob <laughs> mm -hmm. at that point but oh, excuse me also speaking of <laughs> every single time i burp people are like i don't always look so annoyed when you burp but he just sits there and i'm like he just doesn't say anything are you annoyed when i burp no it's just like whatever <laughs> it's just whatever what am i supposed to say <laughs> Like, yeah, <laughs> it's just funny because I've been seeing those comments and some people get so bothered and I'm I apologize. I know it is rude, you know, to a lot of people. But let me tell you, I grew up in my family where my whole family burps, even at the dinner table. We've been talking about like some gory stuff. Like, I don't know. I It's just how I was raised. So I apologize if that's offensive to you guys, but. <laughs> It's just who I am. Anyway, back to the story. Um, it was like in and out in 10 minutes. And then they <laughs> print our ultrasound, which is the one that I showed, well, announced Jesus with. Because that's all I had. And for me, it was just so disappointing because not only is that our first baby, it's our first appointment. It's a huge moment for us. We don't even get an ultrasound to announce to our friends because I knew that the next ultrasound wouldn't be for a while. And between that appointment to the next um, sonogram that we would receive, mm -hmm. that's all we would have. And it was like, it wasn't even an, a sonogram. Like you couldn't even see it at all. It was completely like blurry. It was all scratched out. And their ultrasound printer was broken. <clears throat> so for me... That's such a huge deal, especially, you know, being able to tell our friends and family. That's like the only proof that we had. And so I wish they would have told me that before making the appointment because I would have just not just went little, there. Yeah, like a heads up, like, hey, just yeah. let you know. Like, or even like once we get there, let us know. Because mm -hmm. that's like your little prized possession. Like it's you the, get to also, keep. Yeah, it's a first. Like keepsake first forever memory, yeah. of your baby. No matter if this is your first, second, third, whatever baby, like I just thought is so huge for me. So I was really disappointed also that they didn't even give us a heads up. But they also said 
because we asked like will it be fixed or will oh, yeah. it be fixed and they said well it should be fixed by the next appointment by the so next we're like appointment. um if we come back in and it's still not fixed like then uh, we don't have yeah the second time yeah and <laughs> so that was a huge bummer for us but honestly the whole appointment overall was just such a negative experience i guess for us mm -hmm. that we were like <laughs> we're definitely not going back there oh so anyway i kind of cleared it out of my head like let's just not even consider that my first appointment um and let's try again so my next appointment which i was so sad for because eldon had to work and i was alone so my official first appointment and it caught me so off guard because i got to hear the heartbeat and i was alone and i was just like so sad because eldon makes it a point to either request off early or you know we try and make the appointments after he gets home um from work that way we're together for mm -hmm. every single appointment like he wants to be there and since i already took off I already... yeah i was just so bummed though because i was like that again is another huge milestone and a big moment for me to hear the heartbeat and i didn't realize i was going to hear it that early so i actually would have waited too obviously i'm like really excited to hear the heartbeat but i would have told her like hey can we wait till my husband's here so we can hear it together <laughs> You guys know if you saw our last video that we are doing a gender surprise at birth and they've all been super supportive of that also and knowing not to like slip accidentally up. slip saying like oh he or she is doing so good. They're so nurturing, so kind. Everybody from the front desk, the nurses, the doctors, complete night and day experience from the last appointment. Um, everything is super clean which is my number one priority. Very sanitary. Um, it's new, it's updated, the office is nice, and yeah, everybody, everyone left and right is like, congratulations, like, it's like overboard, I'm like, okay, I didn't expect that, but I feel like that's what you, not necessarily expect, but that's what you deserve as a woman going through pregnancy, you know, that's the least they can do for you is, you know, be kind and nurturing especially like it's not like we're getting these services for free like we pay for it so i'm sounding like a crazy pregnant lady right now <laughs> but i don't know i'm just like my whole life like i was just taught to have manners and humility and kindness for people and then our first official uh ultrasound appointment <laughs> which you can see there's literally signs all over the office saying do not record no videos like all of that so the rebels that we are <laughs> held in secretly recorded it because it's a different office than our like regular checkup uh obgyn and um yeah so i'm super happy that eldin snuck that footage so it's it's short but i just kind of cropped a little bit for you guys to see that that's important. Have a nasal bone. Having a nasal bone means the risk of certain chromosomal. You did head and brain already. There's the front of the bit. Looks like a little skeleton on your eyes. Yeah. And then last but not least, shout out to Laura and Jesus for coming in clutch. They came and saved the day for us because <sighs> long story short, there's a bunch of things that went down wrong the day that we shot our first baby announcement shoot, which was when we flew home to tell everybody about our baby. Since we were there, we wanted to do um, our baby announcement shoot at the ranch where we got married 10 years ago. And also it was formal. We did all black. Maybe I can find a clip to insert here. Honestly, like it was beautiful. I love the vision, maybe for like something else, but it just, wasn't us and i'm sad because we did waste a whole day we were only back home for a couple of days and one of those days was a whole complete waste trying to do that shoot because we had to go to multiple locations after the ranch it just wasn't the vibe and i'm so happy that we redid it it was like super casual we did it last minute we planned it in mm -hmm. literally like the night before i was texting jesus and laura like hey would you guys be able to come up and help us so we drove down to malibu it was a super fun chill day i didn't vlog very much because i was throwing up literally right before the shoot i was so sick i was trying to just like keep it together at least just for this video and it was so special was everybody so that we meet like whenever we're at the mall or the store everyone's like oh my god you guys 
had such a cute announcement video like truly it was so you guys and that's what ultimately what we wanted um and I know for some people like an announcement she was like oh whatever but for us it was like such a huge moment because especially after everything that we went through you know since the beginning of the year we wanted to make like a really special video announcing this very special <laughs> news so long story short the first shoot was a fail but the second one was so cute and we're also going back home um in a couple days for his brother's wedding we'll definitely take you guys along with us i plan to vlog also if you guys have questions about our baby's gender or why we're doing a surprise reveal i'll link it down below but yeah that's pretty much our story time so enjoy the rest of the vlog huge shout out to our production team Woo! we don't need any Nothing. other crew but us we really got it all and then we got our actor here one to give us one seat. yeah he did give us one yeah. idea yeah. which was such a great idea he owe me for overtime Ooh. <laughs> not owe you <laughs> we just finished our baby reveal shoot. I got the best team ever. Yeah. I was thinking you guys were gonna be like, yay! Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah. Sorry, it's because I thought you were gonna keep talking. So I just wanted to screw you. <laughs> We've got the full production, production yeah. right now, and I'm out of breath. And my nose is running because it's cold. It's giving pregnancy. And yeah, yeah literally. The secret is now out, y'all, and that's crazy. You were doing the nasty <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you think about how we got here, yeah. it's kind of crazy. Goes, what is it? I think... Uh, Kozo was saying, he's like, oh, that means the time. Oh, oh yeah, that's the first thing like, he said. He said, that means you guys were doing it when I was there. Y'all are sick. <laughs> <laughs> 